Hey Taurus, I hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of November 2021 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can book a personal reading. You can find all that information in the description box. All right, Taurus, what is happening for you here? Ooh, we have union, okay. Well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Union with a particular person here. All right, let's see. What about this union? Um, yeah, I'm not going to say much until we get into the reading, but it feels like there might be some kind of a coming together, obviously, with, with somebody here. Or something is revolving around that union. Things could be aligned or lining up for that. So let's see, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last half of November. Just had the Empress fly out, so that's good as well because that is showing that you, you are feeling really good about your own self. All right, so let's see what's going on here though. Ooh, the Ten of Swords, all right. <laughs> You are still the Empress, all right? You are still the Empress, all right. The Ten of Swords crossed by the Ace of Wands. All right, well, we are gonna clarify and see what all of this is about. So recent past, we have the King of Wands. Near future, we have the Nine of Cups. For you, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I told you, that's like the Empress. For them, we have the Knight of Cups. More about you is the Ten of Pentacles. For them, the Page of Pentacles, and the potential outcome here, we have the Nine of Wands. All right, Taurus. Keep in mind that the roles can definitely be reversed here. All right, so there is some kind of an ending here um, at the moment, all right? There's, and I feel like it is, it's feeling a little bit like, you know, you are defeated or they're feeling defeated. And the challenge here is for somebody to actually take action, do something about it. I feel like there is a wanting, I feel like it is about um, a particular person here. I feel like it's one person. It's the same person that you're feeling this ending for, that there's also this energy or this motivation to um, reconnect. But that is the challenge here is the actual reconnecting, somebody actually making a move. Um, with the King of Wands being in the recent past, first of all, this is um, this is Leo energy. It could be any fire sign, but it's it's mostly Leo that stands out to me, especially in this particular deck with the lion on it. I feel like you know there was a person here who was really wanting this connection with you, really feeling a lot of passion, possibly very um, very engaged in this connection. That's how it's coming in, very engaged. Um, for you, oh, that's interesting, because you have the Nine of Pentacles, so I feel like you know, you're becoming more independent, you're working on your self-worth, but there is a commitment here, or you wanting a commitment, so we'll see. Um, for them, we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Interesting because this is somebody who either is in the process of coming forward or wants to come forward or would like to be able to come forward and express some kind of emotions. But I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, they're not giving much, but the energy is there. Again, roles can definitely be reversed. Um, Nine of Cups coming up, so that's fulfillment. Could be a wish. But I feel like there's still a little bit way to go here with that Nine of Wands. Um, but whatever the case is, I feel like whoever whoever this is, they're not giving up. Either you or them. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Six of Cups, the Hermit, and the King of Cups. Yeah, there's, 
that's why we have the union card because there's there it's like the union energy between you and another person is very very strong in the air right now there's a lot of possibly um, nostalgia here there's a lot of um, possibly the both of you wanting a reconnection with that six of cups but I feel like you are alone right there's a lot of love here between you and this person with the king of cups a lot of emotions but it's like the two of you are spending some time separately at the moment and I do feel like this time away from each other is actually serving a higher purpose it is um, for you each to do some soul searching and to become wiser to grow within your own selves All right, let's see the Nine of Pentacles for you. All right, we have the Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you know, you were feeling either some heartbreak or there is some kind of a separation that you were feeling some pain for, or maybe this is currently happening. But the wheel is turning. It's like you're moving in a new direction here. And that's why you are able to really stand on your own two feet. Be self-reliant. Find your sense of freedom or your sense of independence. And I feel like this is mostly, I mean, if it's not from a particular situation, although I do get the sense that it is having the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like it's mostly, though, when it comes to feeling feeling that pain which could have been holding you back from being able to turn the wheel in a new direction for your own self, especially when it comes to you being independent. So let's actually see this Ten of Pentacles here. All right, we have the lovers, the devil, Ooh, okay, and the unknown card, which I didn't even remember was in this deck. Okay, very interesting. So I feel like there's two different situations here. Some of you, it might be that both situations will make sense, and for others of you, it could just be one. I feel like for some of you, you are in a commitment where, or a situation, okay, could be work, for example, where it's not really healthy. There's a lot of toxicity. I feel like that's why we even have the unknown card because I feel like it's two separate, two separate messages. Um, and in either case, you know, there is a sense of not really knowing, not knowing where you're going. But this is also a message for you that you don't have to know where this is leading you to. You know, what's important is that you are standing strong in your own element here, in your own power, being free, being self-reliant, feeling independent, not having attachment to anything, and especially releasing yourself from some kind of, some kind of a pain, turning that wheel in a better direction for you. All right, that's all you need to know. So... Um, yeah, for some of you, there is, this is from a commitment um, that was unhealthy. And then for others of you, it's that, yeah, you know, that could still be true, but there is a commitment here with a particular person that you feel a lot of love for. And for others of you, it's going to be both, moving away from one thing that's not healthy, and then, you know, having this sense of wanting this long-term connection or commitment in the 3D with somebody that you feel, right, is the person for you, which in this particular case, okay, and again, this might not be for everybody, but in this particular case, it's what we were talking about up here with the Six of Cups here, all right, for the main situation. All right, so let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the Knight of Cups. And we have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords. All right, interesting, because we, we have the Ace of Wands up here. Okay, so yeah, this is a person who um, really wants this reconnecting with you, as I said, right? Really wanting this, even wanting to come forward and talk to you. Open up emotionally and pretty much offer you offer you love and I do feel like for those of you that um, the lovers resonated with here um, it would be that person but it's almost as if you know they kind of 
there's this, there could be this fear that that might not work out. And so I feel like they're turning their back to that, even though that drive is there, that's what they want. But they're afraid of that either creating pain and they're trying to, to, to leave that pain behind or to leave that idea behind so that it doesn't create pain and looking ahead. Um, also, because I haven't been calling out the signs that I'm seeing, we do have a Virgo, we have, um, as I said, Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, but of course could be any sign. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say about, um, about your energy here. Yeah, something came through before, but it's escaping me now. If it comes back, I'll let you know. All right, so let's see um, that page of pentacles for their energy. All right, the magician and the knight of pentacles, yeah. So they're kind of turning their back to this, right? They're trying to get themselves to a calmer state because I feel like, you know, they're... They're wanting this so badly that they kind of feel like they have to like stop <laughs> almost. Um, but they're still giving a little bit to this. They're trying to just um, manifest a more practical way towards you. And so I feel like, you know, whatever energy they're giving, they're giving a little bit. Mostly because, like I said, there's this, um, this, sense in them that they feel like, you know, they need to just kind of leave it be for whatever reason. Um, but they're still trying to manifest this just in a very gradual way, understanding that this is something that takes time and, and patience. All right, so let's see the Nine of Cups. just coming up here. Ooh, and look at that, the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely action here. There's definitely some action. There's definitely movement towards love. There's definitely movement towards coming together, somebody following, you know, their their wish, basically. So I don't know if this is you or if this is them, to be honest, um, but somebody's definitely moving in that direction. If it's not you, well, then you would know it's th this other person. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. And let's see the Nine of Wands for the potential outcome here. All right, and we have the Seven of Swords, the Four of Cups, and Strength. All right, yeah, so I feel like even though there is this like coming together, there's this energy of somebody going after that Two of Cups, right? What they, what they truly want here. Um, I do feel like it is taking a little bit of time, okay, before things fully come together. But this isn't done. Like, there's still, um, it, it, the connection, I mean, is not done. All right, there's still certain things that need to be worked out. Um, there still is um, somebody still avoiding a little bit, okay, um, the situation here, possibly being a little bit passive sometimes. But that's, that's okay, right? Because we also have strength here. So that's Leo showing up again. Um, either way, there is, there is strength, there is courage that is playing out here, all right? For this union to take place at some point, all right? So it's there. The energy is there. Um, whoever this is, they're not giving up, basically, is what this is saying. It's not, it's not done. It's just that there's still certain things that need to be worked out a little bit. All right, Taurus, if this resonated. And you know, another message that's coming through here is, you know, when you feel like, if you feel like you're taking a step back, okay, with your own self, with whatever, you know, just remember how strong you are, basically, is what I'm getting. It's okay to sometimes, you know, take a step back because when you take a step back, it kind of throws you back into, you know, that unhappiness, right? And then that's what in turn gives you the power to move forward again, to find that strength within yourself and not give up. I feel like, yeah, the message for you is, you know, not giving up. 
on whatever it is that you're doing for yourself, all right, here. All right, so um, the final message for you is what do you need to release the waning moon? So yeah, take that as a confirmation that something something does need to be released here. And I feel like for the most part, you are doing that. All right, as I said before. So those were your messages, Taurus. I thank you so much for watching and much love.